Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Kansas City Chiefs versus Los Angeles Chargers Week 3 matchup based on analytics. Uh, as you may or may not know, each week I collect all of the current 2017 NFL data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And we are two weeks into the season, so it's not the biggest sample size ever. However, there will always be little nuggets of truth in every sample of data that you see. And it's really a matter of seeing if these little nuggets become bigger nuggets, uh, either exposing uh, great offensive ability or not so good offensive ability, exposing great defense ability or not so much defense ability. Uh, so basically, it's, it's essentially tracking how all these teams are doing. And as the season goes on, it'll get better and better and better uh, in terms of you know looking what the strengths and weaknesses of these teams are uh, as the sample gets larger. So... And of course, if you're new to this channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So you can just go there. If, if you don't know what some of the things I'm talking about or the terms of the charts that I'm using, just go there and all the sort of terms and definitions will be there. Uh, so starting with this matchup between the Chargers and the Chiefs, uh, when you look at the NFL basic data, so this is basic NFL stat data, team litmus test kind of stuff. Uh, when you look at uh, this uh, matchup, most of the data favors the Chiefs, uh, spoiler alert, uh, but, um, uh, but, but here's why. The reason why it favors the Chiefs is that when it comes to, you know, total D score and total O score, a total D score is, is basically talking about uh, the defense's ability to prevent first downs, and total O score is about the offense's ability to create first downs in terms of pass first downs and rush first downs. Uh, and when it comes to those particular areas, the Chiefs' defense is just significantly better than the Chargers' offense when it comes to that particular metric. Now, the Chiefs have not exactly been amazing. You know, keep in mind, they did give up a lot of points and, and uh, other sort of things to the Patriots that one week. However, they've been better. And the offense is really the thing, is, is the Chiefs pretty much have one of the best offenses in the NFL, if not the best offense in the NFL when it comes to creating first downs in a variety of ways, whether it's through the pass or through the run. So... Um, that is why the Chiefs are favored is because of those particular areas. When you look at the other sort of data in terms of turnovers, both the Chargers and the Chiefs have not really had the issue, a big issue when it comes to turnovers on offense. However, a big discrepancy, uh, something that actually surprised me, uh, was sack percentage. Uh, the Chiefs have a surprisingly high sack percentage in, in the first two weeks of the season uh, compared to the Chargers. So that was something that kind of uh, surprised me a bit. Uh, and when it comes to offensive scoring, of course, the Chiefs, uh, the OSC percentage scores, basically uh, the, the percentage of offensive scores on each drive. Uh, the Chiefs are pretty high up when it comes to that particular area. The Chiefs' defense in terms of preventing points is better than the Chargers, but it's not exactly average or amazing. Uh, when it comes to turnovers, the Chargers are a little bit better in terms of creating turnovers, but these are both teams that are just have not been performing that well when it comes to turnover percentage on each off on each offensive drive. Again, it's percentages of drives. It's not about total turnovers. It's about the the amount of times on each drive they're able to create a turnover. Uh, when it comes to sack percentage, both these teams are very good in terms of sacks. Uh, the Chargers are very good in terms of getting sacks, and the Chiefs are very good in terms of getting sacks. Uh, interceptions is pretty much the same. Um, when we look at special teams, uh, the Chargers are pretty decent when it comes to punt return yardage whereas the Chiefs have not been that well in terms of punt return yardage whereas the Chiefs have been very good in terms of kick return yardage whereas the Chargers have been kind of non-existent when it comes to kick return um, yardage compared to the rest of the NFL and then when it comes to the defensive side of special teams uh, the Chiefs have been better in terms of uh, 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 punt return yardage and the Chiefs have also been significantly better uh, when it comes to kick return yardage uh, and then when you look at field goal percentage, the Chiefs are pretty decent in terms of uh, that, although most teams are pretty decent. Uh, the Chargers, though, are just not really registering on field goal percentage, so uh, they've had issues in terms of field goals this year. Uh, extra points also favors the Chiefs, and uh, the, the Chargers have had issues with extra point percentage this year as well. Uh, so, uh, and of course, punting average is pretty much the same. So the special teams goes to the Chiefs. Uh, the Chargers have just not been able to create yardage with kick returns they've not really been the best when it comes to creating yardage uh, or preventing yardage with punt returns and preventing yardage with kick returns uh, their field goal percentage has not been that great compared to the Chiefs and their extra point percentage has not been that great compared to the Chiefs 
further adding on the layers of, of reasons to worry about this particular game in terms of the data. Uh, but for the most part, all you really need to know is that when it comes to all the sort of NFL basic data, that the Chiefs are favored pretty heavily in this game uh, because of their ability to put points at the board and their ability to uh, 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 to have just a, a general good, you know, like their offense is just so overwhelming, you know. And also special teams is another sort of thing that really favors the Chiefs in this particular matchup, which is another sort of thing to kind of point to. Uh, so when we look at the other sort of matchups, so when we look at completion percentage, so... Uh, basically, we're looking at the Chargers offense versus the Chiefs defense when it comes to completion percentage. Uh, when it comes to the Chargers, they pretty much have the advantage when it comes to first down completion percentage. Uh, and uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the Chiefs uh, do pretty well when it comes to second down completion percentage and, uh, and third down completion percentage. A lot of this is because of that week one game against the Patriots. I mean, that was pretty brutal performance uh, that they put that they made the Patriots endure uh, but the bottom line is is the Chiefs have been pretty decent when it comes to preventing completion percentage whereas the Chargers have been very good at getting completion percentage um, so it's a pretty evenly matched sort of situation to be honest between the Chargers and the Chiefs when it comes to uh, basically getting uh, completions uh, and then when you look to the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Chargers uh, so the offense of the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Chargers defense the Chargers have advantages when it comes to first down. However, they don't have advantages when it comes to second down and third down. Uh, the Chargers have been very, very poor when it comes to preventing completions on second down and third down. Um, so definitely the Chiefs have a big advantage when it comes to these crucial areas uh, in terms of, you know, again, second down and third down completion percentage. Uh, and then we get to uh, run offense. So looking at the Chargers run offense versus the Chiefs run defense in terms of conversion rate. Uh, the Chargers pretty much have this in many ways. Um, the Chiefs' defense has just not been that great against the run. Um, uh, and the Chargers pretty much have advantages when it comes to first down, second down. And the Chiefs have a slight advantage on third down, but it's very, very slight. Uh, but overall, uh, the, the Chargers really shouldn't have too much trouble running the football against them. This might actually help them get some rhythm. Uh, but then again, the Chargers uh, rushing offense has not exactly been amazing either. But this is kind of an interesting matchup to see because the Chiefs have just not been that great uh, against the run. So this could be an opportunity for them to kind of get their swagger back again when it, come, when it, when it, when it, when it comes to uh, uh, stopping the run. And then when we look at the Chiefs versus the Chargers, uh, the Chiefs pretty much beat the Chargers when it comes to first down situations with the run and third down especially, third down situations with the run. Uh, the Chiefs offense in terms of second down conversion rate with the run has not been that great not amazing uh but uh you know but there's a slight advantage there but again i would seriously just give this to the chiefs i mean when it comes to first down and third down those are two big downs uh and uh, you know when you're able to create first downs with the run on first down that says a lot about your rushing offense um and, and especially when it comes to getting first downs on third down with the rush uh it, it it shows that you know you have uh, a very functional um, rushing offense in terms of those particular situations. So this pretty much goes to the Chiefs in terms of the situation. And then when we get to the passing uh, sort of uh, data when it comes to the Chargers versus, versus the Chiefs, when it comes to the conversion rate with the pass, uh, the Chargers have the advantage in terms of first downs, second downs, not third downs though. Uh, so the Chargers actually have a sizable advantage when it comes to converting with the pass on first down because the Chiefs, that's one area that the Chiefs have not been the best at is in terms of stopping um, first down conversion rates. However, uh, you know, I, I do think that the Chiefs will have a little bit better of a time against second down and, of course, third down, a very crucial down indeed. Uh, the Chargers, the, the, uh, not the Chargers, but the Chiefs defense has been performing a lot better than the Chargers in that particular area. So that'll be a very key matchup to see if that repeats itself because if it does, that, you know, that leads to, you know, punts essentially. Uh, and then, of course, when we get to the Chiefs offense versus the Chargers defense, uh, the Chiefs passing offense just smokes the Chargers in terms of every single thing. When it comes to uh, ability to create first downs on first down, smokes them. When it comes to ability to create first downs on second down, smokes them. And when it comes to, to getting first downs on third down, um, the Chiefs aren't the best in terms of getting first downs on third down compared to the rest of the NFL, but they're better than what the Chargers, Chargers have performed in terms of their defense. Um, so for the most part, the Chargers uh, passing offense just kind of wins this overall uh, when it comes to their success uh, with the pass. 
uh, and almost like really bad. Like like this is like Alex Smith could have a ton of yardage. Like I don't know what else to say. Alex Smith's probably gonna have a ton of yardage. So uh, this is definitely a game to kind of uh, if you're a fantasy football guy, start Alex Smith. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, or any other you know, any other wide receivers as well. So ultimately, how do I feel about this game? Again, I'm going with the Chiefs. I think that uh, the last two weeks, they've, they've been able to back up a lot of the stuff that they've been doing. I just think the offense is just going to be too much for them. Um, and in many ways, I think it's just going to be a repeat. I think this is going to, uh, maybe not a blowout per se, but I do think that the Chiefs are going to put up a lot of points. Uh, they're going to have success with the running game. They're going to have success with the passing game. And I also think that uh, this is one of those games where the, the, the Chiefs defense might get its swagger back again a, a bit with against the run. So that's kind of what I want to see in this particular matchup is how the, how the Chiefs defense performs against the Chargers offense, uh, particularly when it comes to running downs, because that's been an area of weakness for the Chiefs so far in two weeks. But for the most part, Chiefs victory. Of course, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content, and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.